Hey guys, uh, just gonna do a quick video. Want to let you see where Duchess lives. Um, there's been a couple comments about, you know, a little bit of concern for Duchess. So I just wanted to put you guys at ease and let you know that she's well taken care of. So I'll give you a little tour real quick. Right here, we have where she spends most of her mornings is uh, an elevated um, cooling cot. So she's up off the ground. She gets a breeze under her. She keeps cool. Scratching posts, a little uh, doggy couch that we turned into a kitty couch. And then she's got this mattress. Of course, she's got her food and water bowls and dishes. Um, there she is. Actually, she just came out. <laughs> Hey Dutch, you know, and then here she's got like this little professional, you know, um, manufactured little cat house, two levels. Um, the inside on the bottom level does have um, a heat pad, so in the winter we can plug that in and keep her warm. Uh, and then she's got a cooling cot, which she just came out of, out from under just now. And as you can see, she goes way in the back there. And, um, wedges herself between that bottle, that big gallon bottle of ice and the wall and stays cool. So she's got that. And then we've got a couple cat beds for her out here. And she also has lots of little trees and bushes. Um, you know, she likes to lay out there, especially after I water, you know, a couple times a week in the evening. Got a bodai tree that we planted out there. And uh, she likes to lay under that. She's got a, an elevated cat bed where she can lay in the morning when it's not hot in the sun, get a little bit of sun, you know. So she's kind of got the uh, the whole place back here to herself. She gets visits from old man sometimes, but that's about it, you know. But she pretty much just chills back here and, you know, does her own thing. And uh, we also got up here on the wall, if you can see it, let me zoom in on it. Uh, there's a water bottle or a water bowl up on that wall and uh, what that's for is um, this wall that runs behind our property runs all the way down to the end of the block that way and it runs all the way down the street to the end of the block on that way and so at night cats like to go back and forth uh, all the feral cats in the neighborhood so we put that water bowl up there just so they have a place to stop and get a drink and get hydrated. Um, we also have around the corner, we have um, some accommodations set up for feral cats. And if you can see it, um, let's see if you can see it. Yeah, there's a, a cat tree under our bedroom window. We see Duchess sleeping on that sometimes. And then we have a cooler down there that cats can go into. There's straw in there. There's a professional cat, um, you know, cat house type thing for uh, the winter time uh, with straw in it. There's also a, um, a water bowl there. Um, you know, so any of the ferals can get a drink in, in the side of the house. But that's basically it, you know. She's got this whole set up you know where she hangs out this is her turf and um, she's pretty happy so she's taken care of you know she does uh, she, she does have a little bit of a backstory she was uh, brought to us five years ago or so um, she had a litter of kittens on the street and um, she's been feral her whole life and uh, the trapper didn't want to release her in the same area because there was uh, a major road right there. So they didn't want her getting hit by a car. And um, so they asked us if we would, you know, set her up back here, acclimate her and for a few weeks. And we did that. And then uh, when we took the acclimation cage away, she stayed. She made our patio her home. And she basically has lived with us for five years. So... That's kind of Duchess's story. So just to kind of put everybody at ease, um, you know, she is taken care of. Um, it took about four, probably four years for us to be able to touch her for the very first time. And that just happened like six months ago. So maybe seven months ago. Um, but you know, she, she does well here. And uh, like I said, on really hot days during the summer and July, August, 
uh, we'll put gallon bottles of ice out here here and there and she lays next to them and stays cool so uh, but she does it she hates it inside and uh, she fights with the other cats so you know, that's kind of an issue but she's doing really well out here and uh, I just wanted to do a quick video so you guys could see that see her set up see that she's okay so until next time have a great night take care